Halloween creepy, but a lot of fun if you're hosting a party with some treats that folks won't be able to resist. Janine Washley is here with some great ideas from Cloverfield's Farm and Kitchen. She always delivers for Halloween. I look forward to this because I can't wait Yay. to see. It. Last year she brought us a severed head that was actually a cheese ball. So this year we're going to do a creepy clown cake and yes. some other fun treats. Yes. All right, so we have a clown <clears throat> cake here, and you say just typical kids' clown birthday it's pan. It's the Wilton birthday cake pan. Okay. You know, you might use it once every few years, and um, <laughs> if your kids are teenagers, you may not even use it again. People who were just looking at that, though, are thinking, wait a minute, that face <laughs> is not on the pan. No, it isn't. It's this, this is what it looks little, like here. Sweet little, it's called Happy Clown, uh -huh. and it's actually a retired pan now. Um, it's, it's a collectible from 1993. You can still find it. You can totally still you find it. You know I it. don't like clowns, right? Yes, yes. And a couple of weeks ago when Keith Kaiser was in the haunted house that had the clowns that were mm -hmm. saying, good morning, mm -hmm. Candace, yeah. it just stuck in my head. And I thought, oh, I've got that pan. Guess what we're going to do? So, so you're going to let me satisfy my hatred for clowns right yes, now, right? Yes, I want you to decapitate the clown, Candace. Gladly. Yay. Just rip the head right off of that clown. <laughs> and there we go. That makes it. me feel better. <laughs> well, this is how and we're going to make it creepy, though. We crumble yes. up. And this is the, the popular cake. cake ball uh, cake ball mixture that people make. The cake pops, the uh -huh. cake bites, the cake balls. What's in that? Honestly, it's just cake mix. In order to make cake balls, um, you make one cake mix. Mm -hmm. You can make homemade cake too. And typically I do homemade, but this is about using things that are easy and right. quick to find. And then you use enough frosting, so it's kind of an eyeball thing. Um, that you use enough frosting, usually it's only a couple of tablespoons, and you crumble right. it pretty fine. And then you mix in the frosting so that it sticks together like Play-Doh, uh -huh. but you don't want it too soupy where it doesn't hold a shape. Right. And so that's where you started, and that's yes. where you just get creative and mold your own exactly. creepy so I've, face. Exactly. I've made, this is um, the equivalent of one head and half of a sheet cake. So okay. um, that's what makes a really big, grotesque head. And the trick to taking your birthday pans and that sort of thing and um, creating these sorts of creatures and, and clowns and things mm -hmm. is to distortion. You know, the head is much larger, the body's much smaller, it almost looks like a funhouse mirror type mm -hmm. of thing. So then, all you have to do, and I want you to do what's scary to you, is okay. just dump out what you need and make the head shape, think about the scariest shape. Is it a skinny clown face? Is it fat on the bottom and skinny on the top that gets to you? And then, like the cheeks, you, you make a ball. And then think about sculpting class, and you can make it really thick. Yeah, okay. and, and so you would build it up, and like, you would like if that if a big grotesque uh, cheek is what makes you nervous or whatever, then you just press that on, and because there's so much oh, moisture, it all makes me nervous. And then I'll if you honest. want like a really funky chin, then you know put like a big chunk on the in the chin like the area chin and, and if eyebrows up. you know it'll make you can mold this stuff it's awesome i think this would be great for children to um, get involved and get, you know bake them a cake and then tell them to turn it into a monster or you know mm -hmm. a devil or ooh yeah that's good this, and then i had a college like roommate this. who had a barnum and bailey poster that hung ooh. right where my bed looked at it and it had the creepiest clown right in the middle with an evil look on its face. That did not help my <laughs> hatred of clowns. I don't want to so, run out of time before we share some oh, of the yeah. other things you brought. These are disgusting, and you promised me they taste good. They're they worms. They really do. Look they at look those. like blood worms. And all it is is making strawberry jello. You can use raspberry, any of the red jellos, put a few drops of blue food coloring in there to give it that kind of creepy, bloody look, and um, a cup of milk. Mmm. Worms are so good. They are Yummy. good. They taste like Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> they really do. All right, Janine okay. has great ideas that she can share with you, including the bloody worms, the bones that she's brought here, and the Butterfinger severed fingers. All those she can share with you in a pamphlet. All you have to do is go to our website, WDRB.com. You'll find her information. Email her. Then she emails back a brochure with all of these great ideas. Janine, thank you very much. <laughs>